Alex Azora is beaten by Tyson Fury, but he shows so much heart, so much character, so much bravery. You feel for him. He's given absolutely everything tonight. <laughs> and there are boos around the stadium, but I really cannot understand that because the man in the black trunks, trimmed with green, has given everything in there and he should be lifted and cheered like a hero. Finally, someone says it. You lot booing, you should be ashamed of yourselves. Derek Chisora has done more for boxing than any of you lot ever could. I'm not going to let you lot do Derek Chisora down like this. I ain't having it. Not on my watch. Sorry, what? Oh, okay. So you're actually booing this fight because Tyson Fury went out and picked a guy who he'd already beaten twice, who was a one-dimensional tough guy, but probably hasn't been a championship caliber fighter for the last 10 years at least. And Fury picked the easiest possible match for the most amount of money and that's why you are really booing okay then well well that makes a lot of sense i haven't really got i haven't really got much of an argument for that so yeah it, it was a pile of shit luckily i said it before the fight i said it to tyson fury and i can now say it with my head held high unlike a lot of those sniveling little oh tyson can we get five minutes of your time please enjoy it i hope lying to yourselves and lying to your fucking viewers was worth it because that fight was a pile of shit so it went 10 rounds but it really didn't need to early on chisora came out aggressive and i do respect that at least he tried to make it into a fight but quickly the golfing class that we'd seen in the last fight was even bigger it was tremendous fury hurt him quickly started backing him up chisora's come forward energy was cut down real fast and actually there was a little bit of me that thought all right fury might actually do something here that's at least worth watching which is stop him fast end the punishment quickly and make a bit of a statement and actually make something that looks entertaining and then he just slowed down and knocked it into second gear and thought right i'm in cruise control i'm not going to even sit down on my punches i'm going to carry him i'm going to lean on him i'm not even going to risk anything here i'm just going to make it just a easy smooth win it was a sparring fight at best one that wasn't even entertaining and that's why people booed at the end and as for the people booing boo yourselves actually because you lot are the reason this happened muppets like you lot who are willing to spend that kind of cash on a shit card on a non-competitive fight is exactly why fury can do this and by the way frank warren and bob aaron had no interest in this fight this was tyson fury who maneuvered this entire thing he and he alone was the one who wanted to put this shit show on and this this nonsense about i don't care about money that is what this fight was all about an easy cash grab and when you when you talk about oh he just needs a tune of fight for you sick on what planet is p slow plodding in any way replicable to the fast light on his feet pa 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 style of alexander Usyk? wake the fuck up man and as for chisora there's a lot of people tweeting and uh, doing videos about how sorry they felt for watching him take the beating in there and i get it we're watching a man with a massive heart take a pounding that none of us could do right so you've got to respect that and he's had a hell of a career and he's been in so many fucking wars but equally Derek Chisora is a, a grown ass man he knows when he signs up for this fight he's getting his ass kicked he's getting a massive amount of money and that's why he's going to go in there and do it and I think we all have a level of respect for him going into the fight knowing he's going to lose but he's taking the fight anyway but Derek Chisora has made a decision in his life of it's brain cells for pounds and he's willing to make that trade real talk i hope in 10 to 15 years that trade is worth it because watching that last night and this weird friendship we're watching where tyson fury is beating the living daylights out of his mate you think in 10 15 years that there may be a level of regret there that this fight ever took place because it's not the one punch knockouts from what i understand that do the worst level of damage to the brain it's the sustained beating just like chisora took which should never take place because for a fucking start when you're in a fight that you can no longer win your corner is supposed to pull you out well in this case they should have pulled him out after round fucking one 
or two. They might as well not even fucking been there. So they're all in on it. They're all accepted what they're doing here. This is why fighters need to say from themselves a little bit. But this is the sport of boxing where, oh, we care about fighter safety. No one gives a fuck. No one cares. So let's just have that right. That was an easy fight for big money. And I know people like to believe Tyson's not about the money. He's a man of the people. The guy charged 27 quid for the easiest fucking fight that the other guy had not a chance. So I don't want to hear this shit ever again, man. Maybe some of the people inside of the 60,000, maybe they missed the point. They've seen the end of an error tonight in Derek Delwood's shot. You know fine well why they're booing you, absolute fucking shill. They should be applauding, not booing the big lad. They're not booing Chisora, you muppet. Firstly, I want to say thank you to my Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ for giving me another victory tonight. I mean, you give yourself the victory. <laughs> you give yourself the victory the minute you said, you know what, I want to fight Derek Chisora. I don't know what Jesus had to do with that. If I was Jesus <laughs> I'd probably be worrying about bigger things than worrying about if Tyson Fury is going to beat Chisora do you know what I mean there's let me at least start with sort of homelessness famine sort, sort the important bits out first that's what I'd be Jesus if you're listening just crack on I want to say massive thank you to everybody man woman and child all the best God bless you all God bless you all as long as you agree with me Alexander Yusik does not give a solitary fucking shit. That doesn't mean I think he's going to win, by the way, but he's fearless. You ugly little man! You ugly little man! He really does like to pick on people for the looks. For someone who's all about mental health, Tyson, come on now. Stop the name calling. Let's get it on, Nicks! The thing that Fury fucks with people on the most is the head game straight away. The way he broke Deontay Wilder. We can't underestimate the impact he had on Wilder before going into that fight. Hence all the weight gain and all the bullshit that Wilder did. He collapsed under it. Usyk won't do that. You can say Usyk is a steely ideal of death right now. I'm jumping a bit as well, Tyson. Right! We're having a bit! Why don't I see you a Royal Rumble then? This is so ridiculous, isn't it? This is just like Tommy Fury's last fight, ironically. Fight dog shit, and then afterwards... Big hype moment for the next fight. This must be sort of like the the formula for these guys now. I tell you what, Joe, I'm the only man who calls your name out. Everybody else is scared of you. Yes. So if this little rabbit don't want it, it can't be made. Let's me and you, my brother, do Wembley. Let's do Come on, Joe Jones! Come on, Joe! <laughs> This is fucking insane. So hopefully we'll get Usyk next because Usyk has the mental game. He has good footwork, the stamina, the speed. You know, he's a southpaw. And actually his fight IQ is right up there as well. So for me, there's so many ingredients that make Usyk a problematic opponent who could get Fury in a difficult position where he racks a few rounds up and all of a sudden Fury's having to chase him down. And we then have a real competitive... Imagine that. Imagine that. A real competitive fight on my hands. That would be great, wouldn't it, after this one? And that would be worth a fucking 27 quid or whatever they want to fucking... I dread to think what they'll charge for that, by the way. Fury's been mentioning something about an elbow injury that needs surgery immediately worried immediately worried because i think Usyk has so many ingredients to cause fury problems and i just don't trust fury after the aj thing no deadline for chisora but a deadline for I, you just don't fucking know do you so let us know in the comments below what the fuck you thought of this fight and also an early prediction on Usyk versus fury i want to know what you lot are feeling because you'd lean towards fury i don't want to i don't know let me not tell you what i'm thinking i want to know what you're thinking first before i do a preview later down the road thanks for watching don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.